We all know the annoying buzz of a mosquito, but did you know that these tiny insects can carry diseases that impact millions? One such disease is chikungunya, a viral infection that can cause debilitating joint pain. Chikungunya is spreading rapidly, affecting countries in Africa, Asia, Europe, and the Americas. Its impact is significant, causing widespread illness and placing a strain on healthcare systems. The good news is that chikungunya is rarely fatal. However, the intense joint pain can be debilitating, lasting for weeks, months or even years in some cases. Understanding chikungunya, how it spreads, and how to prevent it, is crucial in our fight against this global health challenge. By working together we can protect ourselves and our communities from this painful disease. Chikungunya is a viral disease transmitted to humans through the bite of infected mosquitoes. The name chikungunya originates from the Makande language of East Africa and means that which bends up, a fitting description considering the severe joint pain it causes. Imagine waking up one morning with excruciating pain in your joints, making even the simplest movements unbearable. This is the reality for many chikungunya patients. The pain is often described as debilitating, affecting multiple joints and making everyday tasks like walking, dressing, or even holding a cup incredibly difficult. While the fever and other symptoms usually subside within a week, the joint pain can persist for much longer, impacting people's ability to work, care for their families, and enjoy life to the fullest. Chikungunya virus spreads primarily through the bite of two mosquito species, Aedes aegypti and Aedes albopictus. These mosquitoes are often found breeding in stagnant water collected in containers like tires, buckets, and flower pots around homes. When an infected mosquito bites a person, the virus enters the bloodstream and replicates, leading to illness. The infected mosquitoes can then transmit the virus to other people through subsequent bites. The 80s mosquitoes are aggressive daytime biters, making it essential to take precautions throughout the day, not just at dawn and dusk. Climate change is also playing a role in the spread of chikungunya. Warmer temperatures and changes in rainfall patterns are creating more favorable conditions for these mosquitoes to thrive, expanding their geographical reach and increasing the risk of outbreaks. Chikungunya typically manifests with a sudden onset of high fever, often accompanied by severe joint pain, headache, muscle pain, and rash. The joint pain, a hallmark of the disease, usually affects multiple joints, particularly in the hands, wrists, ankles, and feet. While chikungunya shares some symptoms with other mosquito-borne illnesses like dengue and zika, the intense and debilitating joint pain is a distinguishing feature. Doctors usually diagnose chikungunya based on clinical symptoms and travel history. Laboratory tests can confirm the diagnosis by detecting the virus or specific antibodies in the blood. Early diagnosis is crucial for appropriate management and to rule out other potential illnesses. Currently, there is no specific antiviral treatment for chikungunya. The primary focus of treatment is to relieve symptoms and support the body's natural healing process. Rest is crucial during the acute phase of the illness. Over-the-counter pain relievers and anti-inflammatory medications can help manage the fever and joint pain. Staying hydrated is essential, especially with fever, to prevent dehydration. While most people recover fully from chikungunya within a few weeks, some individuals may experience persistent joint pain and stiffness for months or even years. Physical therapy and rehabilitation can be beneficial in managing long-term joint issues and improving mobility. Hash hash section 6, fighting back, prevention is key. Preventing chikungunya starts with controlling the mosquito population and minimizing the risk of mosquito bites. Eliminating mosquito breeding sites around homes is paramount. Regularly emptying, cleaning or covering containers that can hold water such as buckets, flower pots and old tires can significantly reduce mosquito breeding grounds. Using mosquito repellents containing DEET picaridin or oil of lemon eucalyptus on exposed skin can effectively deter mosquitoes. Wearing long-sleeved shirts and pants, especially during peak mosquito activity hours, provides an additional layer of protection. Installing window screens and mosquito nets can prevent mosquitoes from entering homes. 
Community-wide efforts such as insecticide spraying and public awareness campaigns are crucial in controlling mosquito populations and preventing outbreaks. Hash hash section 7 on the horizon vaccines and a healthier future. The good news is that scientists are actively researching and developing vaccines for chikungunya. Several vaccine candidates are in various stages of clinical trials, showing promising results. These vaccines aim to provide long-lasting immunity against the virus, offering hope for a future where chikungunya is no longer a public health threat. While the development of a safe and effective vaccine takes time, the progress made so far is encouraging. Hash hash section 8, a call to action. Knowledge is power. Chikungunya is a global health challenge that requires a collective effort to combat. By understanding the disease, how it spreads and how to prevent it, we can protect ourselves, our families, and our communities. Simple actions like eliminating mosquito breeding sites around our homes, using mosquito repellents and seeking timely medical attention, if we suspect infection, can make a significant difference. Community engagement is crucial in raising awareness, promoting preventive measures and supporting research efforts. Together we can create a future where chikungunya is no longer a threat to our well-being. Hash hash section 9, conclusion, a future free from chikungunya. Chikungunya may be a painful and debilitating disease, but it is not a death sentence. With effective prevention strategies, ongoing research and collective action, we can control its spread and alleviate its impact on individuals and communities worldwide. The future holds promise for a time when chikungunya is no longer a global health concern. By staying informed, taking preventive measures and supporting research efforts, we can all contribute to a healthier and brighter future free from the burden of this debilitating disease.